After the loss of last last week and everything, of course, uh, you know, hoping for a little bit of a, a little bit of moral build and everything, trying to hopefully just gain back a little bit of our uh, of our love and everything for the centers and everything. Uh, know we had a you know a bad deal with our quarterback and everything with the concussion and whatnot, and uh, of course we found out of course he's going to start. And uh, of course, first of all, it's, it's bedlam, you know. You got to come out. It's it's uh, usually a house divided or one or the other, you know. Well, the OSU OU thing is uh, we've been together for about eight years. We we're broke up now. We share a son together. Uh, my family is all OU. <laughs> she is just OSU out of spite. It's just out of spite. OU's gonna win. OSU win. We have a bet. <laughs> we tried to bet. Uh, Real tattoos, I wouldn't go for it because I am not putting no issue on me. But we're going to do the uh, seven days of temporary on the face. If OU loses, I'll wear OSU on my face for, for seven week. days. And same thing there. At She's work, gonna, can't wash yeah. it off. You got to go out every day with that on your face. Second and three. Hey, this is for the... to the bone! This is for the open of the Fox it. show. Okay, yeah. We're doing pre-tapes. Yes. I just need you guys to go nuts for about 30 seconds and we'll start down here and we'll go. Watch it, we'll come right through here. Ah! That's Boomer and Sooner. They've been going on for, they've been pulling for about 14 years. They're 18 to 19 years old. Their main role right now is after touchdowns and extra points and field goals, they run and make a circle on the field and come back in. They've got some age on them. They're, they're about like a 70 year old man. They're still very, very healthy. They just don't have a lot of stamina. Kyle Buns, son of Jack and Marcy Buns. Shannon Begno, daughter of Brian and Glenda Begno. Very positive, uh, really uh, excited about the way the guys, uh, everyone played. Just, uh, you know, it was a well-played game. Uh, compliments to, to Oklahoma State. Again, they, you know, they're doing some really good things. And, and uh, but, uh, you know, just really proud and, and pleased with the way our guys executed. I, I thought we played what I like to call a clean game and that we took care of the ball. They didn't have very many penalties. Uh, offensively, uh, we you know we really ran the football well and and, and executed well. And defensively, they're going to have some drives again. With the, they do an excellent job in how they move the ball, but we really came up with some key stops. That goal line stand was just fantastic. And uh, second half, we really played well, just really executed well, and you know just read out what what they were doing a little bit better. And and and. Uh, so, and uh, I thought kicking game all night was really strong. Uh, the guys really executed well there, too. So, just a well-played game. Thank you. 
Pete Carroll. It's a good state rivalry, but uh, just uh, uh, instills my uh, hatred for the Sooners every year I come down here again. No, just kidding, really. You haven't looked at the film, but you think this is the best your Lions played? Oh, probably, but I don't, it's a long year ago. You, you can, I mean, we've had some, we've had a lot of strong games. You look back early through the year, and uh, so I, I don't know. I'm, it's hard for me to remember every single one. It's, it's one of the more complete ones, though, for sure. You know, we, we, uh, we really, I think, just really played played well as a team like, like we talk about trying to do. Yeah, that's it. Talk crap in front of your kids, buddy. What a winner. What a winner. What a winner. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about the game? <laughs> he never did tell you where the library was. I feel like was. there's 20,000 good OU fans, and there's 60,000 fans that are just total idiots. Hey, thank you, man. Appreciate it.